I'm going to be teaching you guys how to win every single solo game. Now, you're probably like, bro, you only have 14 wins. Bruh, I don't play solo, you feel me? I play duos and squads, you know, but if I play solo, I would have over a million wins right now. I'm going to be showing you guys how to win every single time. It's confirmed. It's nothing but facts, bro. So like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully this helps you out, bro. Hopefully this transforms you into a bump, into a god, just like me, bro. Simple. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll get back with you guys when I'm inside of a game. So first off, bro, what y'all want to do, y'all want to look at a map, right? First thing y'all want to do, y'all want to see how many people hop off the bus. So off rip, about, I would say half the bus is hopping off the back side of the map. So that's like greasy, tilt away. Half of them are going to tilt it. So what you want to do, it all depends on the spawn, you feel me? So what you want to do, you want to spawn away. Away is either over here or over here. So what I'm going to do for this match right here, I'm going to go all the way to the left, junk way. Junk, castle, and the three houses way. That way you're away from everybody. Once you're away from everybody, you can loot in peace, bro. You feel me? And that's how you get the good guns off rip. You get everything you need off rip. You feel me? So I'm going to get back to you guys right when I land. See another key tip y'all, before you land you want to scan the area, I'm scanning the area right now and I don't see anybody. So right now we in the clear, right? So we have 20 seconds until the storm kicks up, until the storm starts to move. So we have to loot fast. You have to loot fast whenever you're here because if the circle's not on you, you're going to have to run super far and you don't want to do that off rip. So look at this. See we got to go, it's not that far, so we kind of got lucky. But still, you want to loot quick, you don't know, there's going to be stragglers here, you just don't know, you really can't tell. So literally, chest over there, look at how I loot, bro, this is going to be quick. I'm going to take y'all through the full thing, inside the mine of Snow Globe 323. Chest over there, okay, off rip, I identified two chests. So right here, sealed up, 100 shielded. Now we get some metal. Let's get some metal so that we can ramp up and get the chest, you feel me? Chest down low, let's get that one first. Always got a little quick. Green AR, pick up the band-aids for now. This is how I'm going to be showing y'all how I think, you feel me? How I think. So we pushing that. Chest over here, I'm going to get that. Pump. I need that. And the chest was... Where? Where was it? Right here, okay. Wrap up here. Fat shield, we'll keep that for later. Fat shield, we'll take that over the band-aids. So now we hurry up over here. You never want to be in one place for too long. It doesn't matter if it's off spawn. It's a lot of two fast seals. There we go. It's a lot of places around here that we need to hit, so we got to keep it moving. We got to go fast, so we got to move fast. Chest up there. See what we get. Med kit. I don't pick up. I'm going to pick up a med kit for now. I don't use that pistol, so it's going to wait. We're going to hurry up. Pull out your pickaxe. No chest. And I don't believe it's a chest above. Yep, no chest. So now we gotta make our way to castle side. If you guys don't know what the castle is, I'll show you guys. You feel me? Now, I know a lot of people, they're gonna disagree. They're gonna be like, oh, spawn somewhere popular. You can do that, but right now, I'm not trying to get into gunfights. I'm just trying to get looted up. By the time I make it to the first circle, it's gonna be like 30 people left, so it's honestly making the whole thing easier. If you don't have to kill, why do you need to? Now I don't hit those three houses over there because it's a possible three chest, but this right here is the money spot, you know? You see some see I see somebody right here. Now I know that he's go, about to go loot that chest, so what I'm gonna do? Go around the back side. It's a 
potato. In certain situations, y'all have to know when to ramp. I knew he couldn't go over the fence, so that's an easy ramp, easy kill. You know? Legendary chest. Open this bad boy up. Got more minis. Since I already have two fat pots, what I'm thinking now, just get back to 100. You always want to stay 100, bro. You always want to stay 100 if you can. Always. It's not a waste. Stay 100, bro. Even if you're at 99, stay 100. You're gonna find other people to kill, so it's not a waste. Bush. Now we gotta hit this one real quick. The storm now started, by the way. Hit that. The storm started, by the way, so we kinda gotta hustle now. We're gonna be seeing people at Pleasant Parkway. And one thing we don't wanna do, we don't wanna get caught from the back. We gotta speed it up. Mad kid, another mad kid. I would have had two. But I don't run mad kid. Usually, people who you kill, they have band aids on the deck. Look at me. I'm trolling. I have a mad kid slot on me. I, did, I forgot I picked it up. See? Usually, like, I usually don't run meds or anything. But for now, like, if I find, let's say, a sniper, I'm going to drop the meds. You always want to keep shields on your body. That's like a must. Keep shields on your body. When you're in a gunfight tags off your shield you can easily do a quick little ramp ramp up build a little base drink a mini pop out pop out if let's say he's uh up above keep ramping up pop a minis you'll see later in the game bro minis are the best thing that fortnite gave us for sure you guys definitely have to keep those on you now my mind right here we're running through Pleasant Park. It looks like Pleasant Park has been ripped. It looks like it's been cleaned, swept through. But I know that people are still here. And they might still be looting. And the people are probably on the front side. So this is like a habit for me. Every time I run through Pleasant Park, I just run on the right side. Now I see somebody. I see him. It was kind of a late reaction. But I see him now. He's in front of that. So what I'm going to do, he got RPG. Inside the house, he took off my shield. Now off rip, off rip, drink the mini. You know he has an RPG. He's above me. He's above me right now. Just gotta play it safe. Cause he has a whole RPG. You don't want to get caught lagging. Just keep the sound whore up. Because he can easily. Great team. Got him. See that? What I did there, all I did, walk y'all through, all I did was sound whore the kid, right? I didn't, like in a gunfight like that, in a situation like that, you don't want to get too close to him because a uh, potato, he'll easily take you out with him. He'll easily do that. He'll easily suicide himself. So pushing the house when he has an RPG is kind of dangerous. But then again, if it's a good player, he's not going to want to kill himself. So applying that pressure is really good. You have to know when to do it. Now you see that? I sealed it up. I went to 100, y'all. Now we finna push. Another thing is, as you keep moving, you have to look at the map. So right now, Snobby's still on the map. So people, if anything, are still going to be Snobby way. So in my mind right now, what I'm thinking is, they're going to be making their way towards soccer field, right? And soccer field inside the circle. So people who ain't greasy, they're probably getting shifty right now. And Snobby is hitting soccer field. So what I like to do right now is push soccer field. I like to get the people who are just running and auto sprinting 
and get them out the lobby quick, you know? Usually my number one rule is I never like to arrive to a circle early. What that means is I never like to be the first person at a circle before the clock, before the storm starts to move. Because honestly, it's like you're a sitting duck. Because it's always going to be them stragglers who just push you and you don't know from where. It's just like now. It's probably somebody inside the soccer stadium and all he's doing is camping there and it's going to be an easy kill. So right now I'm just going to keep rotating it around. If soccer field hasn't been hit, GG. That's a blessing. This hasn't been hit so we're going to see what's in here. I thought I saw somebody over the hill. Don't know for sure. I'm going to play it like I do. Over that right side hill. I don't know if I did. But y'all, whenever you see somebody, the first thing you want to do, place down that wall, bro. Fortnite is a build before it's a shooting game, bro. Building will take the best opponent and turn him to a trash can. You feel me? There's a lot of people, all they want to do is run and gun, run and gun. But building saves lives, bro. So I know this has been hit because the ammo's been taken. So the one thing that I'm going to do, just to check if the guy is still here. You never know if he's still here or not. So I'm just going to do a quick peek from above. Looks like somebody's been killed in there. Or he dropped the loot. I don't want to stay too long. Now another reason. Both of that door is open. So you can tell that he left. So I'm just going to keep on pushing. I know that he left soccer field, but I also know that the people snobby way are going to be coming here now. So I'm going to do this quick. This hasn't been hit. So I know he didn't come this way. So after I'm done looting this, I'm going to go back to the soccer field because it's a possible chance that he might still be there. Always, y'all. If y'all can't pick up the slurp, make sure to drink it because you don't want somebody else finding that. Oh, I choked. I need to go back up and pick it up. You do not want somebody else finding the slurp. So just make sure to drink it. Whoa. See, I'm choking. I'm not thinking right now. I'm not thinking. Pick up that AR. And I'm going to drop the two mad kids. I know where they're at if I need them. So right now, I'm pushing back to the soccer field. See the kid? He ramped up there. So he is now in tilted. But there should be some people who went snobby way who's here right now at the soccer field 11 people left so I'm gonna use the right on me build that wall build another wall he railed me drink the minis got the RPG drink my mini cause he's actually railing me back to the lobby now I'm gonna go back and get that mag kit this was my first game on too, so that was a little sus. Every time I carry a RPG, I kind of forget that I have, and I never end up using it. So, yeah, that's a that's a bad little habit that I have. Now he has some good loot. Now you guys see what I said, bro? I knew. Gold sniper. I'm gonna pick up the purple tack. I knew that it was gonna be one kid here, and he came from Snobby Way, and he got sent back to the lobby. That's his IQ. You know, people were pushing out of Snobby. You know, people went there. So, what do I do? I went back, got that one kid, took his loot, sent him back to the lobby early, you know? Eight people left. What I'm going to do right now is I left my med kits here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one med kit. Then I'm going to push tilt away from the left. Uh, you never want to push tilt really head on. And you never want to push tilt away from the ground. Because it's easily... A person who's set up at Tilted can easily scope your junk if you're running on the ground. So just get the height, you know? It's not hard. Eight people left. Let's see what we could do. Supply drop right there. So you know somebody at Tilted is probably looking at that and they're probably going to go after it. But right now, this storm is extremely slow. We see a one by one over there, a lot of building. A lot of building. Those steps are still being built. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let the storm catch up to me and ride the storm. Walk with the storm. Because the storm, you could outrun it. 
So this storm right here, this is what I always do. I'm one with the storm. You gotta use the map. Y'all gotta play with the map. Now you can easily outrun the storm. So people aren't gonna be looking at the storm early on. So I'm just gonna ride with the storm. Use the storm as kind of my shield and my protection for this uh, wave. As I'm going through Tilted, you know? Because people are gonna be pushing forward. They're not gonna be pushing back. They're not gonna be looking inside of the storm. So I like to just ride the wave. And still looking out because it was a lot of buildings inside Tilted, so. I hear people shooting to my left, so automatically now I'm in a full on sprint. I'm on their heads. I see a huge one by one, huge base. You know somebody's in that. There's people right here. Got him out the game. Now, the one thing that I don't know, I'm going to continue to push over there because there's more people. He got taken out. He's falling down. Got him. So now it's five people left. I took fall damage. I'm going to go over here and get all of this loot. People sniping at me from on top of the mountain. Got the jump pad though. So right now, we need to be like a llama. We need to scale this mountain quick because people are shooting at me so scale this mountain quick four people left get whatever loot that they didn't pick up see med kit cozy so right now I'm gonna drop the cozy I'm gonna drop the cozy real quick get to a hundred three people left Get the height real quick. Mag kit. Not gonna need it. Get the height real quick. Height is always a key. You always want to get the height. See, was that there? Somebody might be in there. I have an RPG. You know somebody's right there. I see him. Building up to that base right there. That's a huge one by one. Sniping. So it's three people left, right? Two people left. I know where those two people are at. So right, one's right there. And one's right there. Last two. So what I'm going to do right now is jump pad to the one on the hill. Let me make sure everything's reloaded. He, he doesn't have to hide, so it's going to be easy to kill him. Jump pad over to this kid. He shouldn't be expecting it. See, he's getting shot at by the kid on the ground. He's getting, he's getting shot at, so he's not going to be expecting to get pushed from the back. Got him out the game. Now I know where the last kid's at. The last kid's right there. I'm going to pick up his car. And I'm going to pick up the chuck. Let's see if I can just pick him. Ooh, almost. Right now he knows where I'm at. I'ma just chug. Get to 100, 100. And then I'm gonna push this kid out. Pick back up my minis, reload. Right now he probably thinks, he doesn't know I'm here. He's just sniping. He doesn't know I'm here at all. He thinks I possibly could have dipped. So we're gonna play that to our advantage, you know? We know where he's at. We have the height. Now, this could be an easy snipe. We got the height, so now we're just going to rail him. That's how you win every single solo, guys. Now, hopefully, I helped you guys out. Like, comment, and subscribe. As you can see for that final kill, he didn't know I was still in the hut. So, all you got to do, you have a gold scar. Use it to your advantage. And easily send him back to the lobby, bro. Hopefully, I helped a lot of randoms out. That's inside the mind of a guy, you know? So, yeah, if you guys want me to drop a part two, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy the video.